Hey there guys, I am The Six Machine and welcome back to another Warhammer video. So this is going to be a very quick one, possibly the shortest video I've ever done, but I wanted to do it because I'm on a bit of a Tyranid kick at the moment, following the excitement of the Eldar leaks, and there is a few videos that I have in mind that I want to get up, but today we got another one of the short inbox data sheets revealed that you get with the new units, and that is for quite an interesting, often overlooked part of the High Fleet, which is the Gargoyles. And first off, I will be straight with you, not much has changed. But the one significant change there is, does mean potentially quite a lot for some other reasons. So first off, this is the brand new Gargoyle profile, and as you can see, they still have the same small, gribbly, pretty rubbish stat line of movement 12, Weapon Ballistic Skill 4+, Strength and Toughness of 3, 1 Wound, 1 Attack, Leadership 5, and that 6-up save. So, so far, no difference. The big thing, and it is quite a big thing, is that their weapon, the Flesh Borer, has had an almighty glow up, not only gaining an extra 6 inches of range to a very decent 18 inches, but also it now hits at minus 1 AP and at Strength 5 which is actually not a terrible profile. A Flesh Borer is now much, much better than a Bolt Gun. So they can reasonably expect to kill not a huge amount, but a decent chunk of models over the course of the game. And a blob of 20 Gargoyles should now do over 3 wounds to a Marine stat line instead of the 1.6-ish that they currently do. So it does actually make a pretty significant difference, effectively doubling their damage output. There is also no mention of their melee focused blinding venom, however I wouldn't be surprised if that may be moved to an ability that's just baked into their full data sheet, or perhaps more likely than we would care to admit, reimagined as a new stratagem for the Tyranids, and I know that would really suck, but precedence throughout 9th edition kinda indicates that that may well happen. What is really exciting about this for me is that from all of the rumours that we've seen about the upcoming Tyranids, from the leakers and from Reddit and from Discord and wherever, one that has been quite prevalent is that Flesh Borers would be going to Strength 5. And I mean, I don't know about you, but that's quite a niche thing to make a guess about or to lie about when it comes to rumours. So the fact that it has now been confirmed here does add a lot more credibility to the rest of those rumours, in my opinion. And for the Gargoyles specifically, one of the other rumours about them was that they were moving to the troops slot. So this could very well mean that in the new Codex, we are going to have some really nice, fast, flying harassment troops to go and grab objectives and tie up backline units and fire off a load of strength 5 shots that can actually do a decent amount of damage now. And if nothing else, just purely moving to troops will mean I think you will see a lot more gargoyles on the battlefield just for having that really fast, maneuverable unit as a troops choice and as a cheap bodyguard for things like the Parasite, which we saw yesterday, as well as other fast-moving Tyranid HQs like Broodlords and Tyranid Primes. So there we go. As I said, a very, very short video. Not much has changed for the gargoyles in terms of what we can see here, but they do have a very nice new weapon profile, and we have also now got potentially confirmation that Gargoyles may well be moving to that much revered troop slot. But as always, what do you think of these changes? Is it more likely you will be bringing Gargoyles in the new Codex now if they're troops, or do you still think they're just not going to be worth it with that pretty pathetic stat line? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more Warhammer content from me, but until next time, I'll catch you later guys.